Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I have something that is really kind of neat. This is called the Tiny TV Classics. And this is a small little television set that plays clips from different television shows, or in this case, the original Back to the Future movie. You can find this in Walmart, it's $24.99. And I just came across these and I thought, hey, let me, let me get one of these and, and check it out. So what you have here, is this television set and it comes on there's a screen and it's going and it's just going to play clips from back to the future it's not going to play the entire movie but they also have other versions of this as well for the first season of south park there's friends um and the 1966 batman television show and i think there's going to be some other ones coming out in the future as well and the tvs are styled after that particular time period so you can see that this television here is styled after one that's in the 1980s and it also comes with a remote control that works. So this, this can be like a cool little desk knickknack or you can put it next to some action figures if you wanna do some photography or maybe even set up a diorama. So let me turn it along the back so you can see what's going on there on the back side. And yeah, nothing left to do now but to open this up and take a look at it. This video may get demonetized for this, but I have to show you what this thing is like. So let's open it up, take a closer look. All right, here we go. So you know I had to bring out the NECA Back to the Future figures to go along with this one because I just had to. I'm looking at Back to the Future on this tiny little TV. I got some figures, I might as well put them side by side. And also to give you a sense of the scale. These NECA figures tend to be around seven inches tall. So if you have action figures that are around this size and you wanna get a television like this, this is the scale. This is what it's gonna look like. So before we turn it on, let me show you this remote control right here. It has a few different buttons on it for play and pause, power, channel up and down, and volume up and down. Here's the back of it. And you can also slot this into the back of the TV so you won't lose it. So when you're not using it, you're gonna stick the remote control back there and you'll be good to go. Makes me wonder that if something like this were a thing back in the day, maybe we would have kept our remote controls and we wouldn't have had to go up to the TV and push those buttons in order to change the volume and change the channels. Okay, so let's get started. Let's turn it on. Now, one thing I do have to say, I don't know if this is the same way for all of them, but trying to turn this on with a remote control, it doesn't work. You have to turn it on from the actual television, but go through a little legalese, a logo, and then universal. And you might be thinking off the top of your head, like, man, that looks a little choppy. I thought that too. But once we get into the actual clips, it's a lot better. And it's going to play it automatically. Look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? Now, let's do the volume up and down. From behind, it doesn't work. So you gotta bring it up here. That's how it's muted. Let's turn it all the way up. It gets a little tinny when it's all the way up like this. So let's say you want to move to another clip. I love that little transition in between. A <laughs> so you got 12 different clips in total. From all over the movie. Now, like I said, I think you would want to keep this at a, on a lowish um, volume. Because otherwise, it, it gets really, it gets really tinny and blown out. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was a weird moment. Some people are into it. Let's keep going. <laughs> Alright, let's go all the way to the end here. I think you guys get the point. Hold on. Classic. And then once we've reached the end, it starts over. And then when you want to turn it off, get those red bars and it's over. So it's sort of like an advertisement for the actual movies or for the box set because it gives you that little image a couple of times like, hey, let's go out and get the real thing. But yeah, this is really neat. The thing that I dislike the most about it, this cat out of the way. The thing I dislike the most about it is um, the the sound quality when you turn it up too much and then I actually kind of fear that if you turn it up too much and it starts to get really tinny then you probably will end up damaging the little speaker so that everything that you listen to after that also sounds a little bit tinny as well so try to keep the volume nominal the entire time if uh, if you want the best quality what's you know the best quality period. But I, th when I was playing this thing, you know, it just brought a smile to my face. I thought it was really neat to be able to look at clips of Back to the Future on this little TV like that. It's the little things, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of hit clips, you know, uh, except this is Back to the Future in video form. So, yeah, um, 25 bucks, I think that's a little bit pricey for something like this. I would like to see something like this go for maybe... Uh, $14.99, um, $19.99 would be like the ceiling for me. Uh, but I do think that it's really neat. Um, you know, even if the novelty will wear off relatively quickly. But if you are a collector, action figures and whatnot, and you know, you just want to have something like this to be next to your figures in a diorama form, this would be great. And I'm looking forward to seeing what other kinds of sets that they come out with. Um, it'd be really cool. I'm a huge Simpsons fan. Give us some classic Simpsons clips, you know, from like season, let's say season seven and back. Let's look at those classic clips and give us the, the Simpsons TV with the bunny ears. That would be amazing. Yeah. So anyway, you guys, that is it. That is the, uh, tiny TV classics back to the future set. Available at Walmart, $24.99. Pick them up if you're interested. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Jeremy. Talk to you later.